so much information, so much to learn. Where do I start? How do I get this guitar to sound like other people play their guitar? Am I just too old to do this now? Is it too late? Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where you're never too old to learn. And in this video lesson, I'm going to talk about the seven things that I have seen that make the biggest difference for folks who are older that are starting to learn how to play the guitar, or maybe they've, uh, you know, used to play when they were younger and things got busy, things got in the way, and they're getting back into playing the guitar. Okay, number one, the most important thing, no pressure, when it comes to learning how to play the guitar, is rhythm and timing because uh, there's lots of steps and obviously things to learn when playing the guitar but at the core especially playing acoustic guitar and rhythm guitar really important to play in time and get your strumming and timing down so uh, I have a uh, I'll leave some links in the description below. Several of the things we're going to talk about in this video, I have much more in-depth lessons that you feel free to check out once you're finished with this video. I'll leave the links in the description and you can click there to watch the entire lessons on these specific topics, including this one because it's a biggie. Uh, but I do want to give you a little bit of a head start. So the one thing or two things I'm going to talk about with rhythm uh, when it comes to playing and learning how to play the guitar for older beginners, you're going to want to pick up a metronome don't got to be fancy or you can use a free app uh, there's free websites lots of ways to use a metronome I'm just going to talk about it really quick here and I'm sure I slow this one down I don't get real fancy with my metronome I basically just put in the uh, clicks the beats per minute you'll see that BPM um, I don't get fancy with time signatures and quarter notes and 16th notes and all that stuff uh, I just do um, a, a beep that will be ingrained in your head. So a metronome is something that makes a noise on the beat uh, depending on what the tempo is. And uh, use these a lot with newer folks. You're just gonna mute your strings, hold your fingers over the strings, and you're just going to strum down on the strings when the metronome beeps. One, two, three, four. Just start there. The second little tip, is to uh, use your imagination. We're gonna pretend that we have a piece of imaginary string tied around our wrist, and then it goes down and is tied to our toe. So when we're strumming down, we're gonna be tapping our toe and counting to four. So when I say one, two, three, four, that's your toe hitting the ground. Imagine that that string, as your toe hits the ground, pulls your wrist down to strum the guitar. One, two, three. When you bring your wrist back up, because what goes down comes back up, that imaginary string is pulling your toe back up. So your wrist and your toe are connected. So that's a big, big deal. I go into a lot more detail about that in the lesson in the description. And that's my number one tip, is to pay attention to timing and rhythm to be successful when you're playing guitar. Number two, I have a, uh, it's more of a, I guess it is still a tip. Uh, the tip is, it's uh, your your fingers are gonna hurt. <laughs> so, especially when you're starting out brand new on guitar, um, I really favor the acoustic. Um, your fingers are gonna get a little sore because you're pressing your skin against metal <laughs> and steel, and it's just one of those things that you've got to uh, work through. Uh, biggest tip is to play a little bit every day. Uh, learning the guitar is not like cram it all in at once. It's a little bit at a time which is one of the tips later on in this video. But that's gonna mean that your fingers are gonna be a little sore. Uh, obviously don't play the guitar till your fingers bleed, but just realize that you have um, some time involved to build up some calluses on your fingers and it will happen, I promise. Uh, number three, and I tell this to, uh, we have a Relax on Guitar membership, tell our members all the time, and you've probably heard it here on YouTube if you watched any of my videos, is learn things correctly first and quickly later. That's tip number three. The, uh, I think it's really important to learn things correctly. That way you're not having to spend time to unlearn things later and unlearn bad habits. And it's much more important to get those strums down or those chord shapes and do them slowly and correctly at first speed 
comes with time. So learn things correctly first and quickly later. Big piece of advice for number three there. Number four is to start with some easy chords. Uh, you'll hear uh, the term cowboy chords or open chords. I've also got a link in the description below for the first eight chords that you should learn as a beginner. And my advice is to really stick with those easy open chord shapes first and really concentrate on getting those shapes correct and you know the way that your fingers are arched. It's all part of that much more in-depth lesson, but learning those first uh, few open chords first, it's, I'm not even exaggerating, it's thousands of songs that you'll be able to play with those open chords and go a long, long way to learning to play the guitar. And number five, I've kind of hinted at earlier, the, uh, the best advice I have and the biggest tip for practicing is to do that a little each day. Um, I do have a practice routine video that I go through some detail. You feel free to check that out when you're finished with this one here. Um, but the, the gist is that you want to uh, try to dedicate some time. If you can do it like the same time each day, that might help. Um, just when you have the time and make it part of your routine and to practice just I'm talking like 10 or 15 minutes a day is all it's really going to take learning guitar really uh, Is something that you build on it's not something where you have to like sit down and play for like You know eight hours and now I know this amazing, you know song or lick or uh, whatever it might be It's not really like that. It's more of a progression of a little bit 10 or 15 minutes a day and you get the muscle memory going on, you've got things to build on and a strong foundation. So that's tip number five. Play a little bit every day, uh, not uh, a whole bunch all at once, and then, you know, not pick up your guitar for weeks. <laughs> uh, the number six tip, it comes to do with uh, probably the second most common thing I hear. After, um, you know, rhythm and timing is probably the first thing I hear. How do I strum my guitar? And rhythm and time we talked about that at tip number one the other big one I get is how do I change chords smoothly and quickly this might be one of the more difficult things to do but there are a lot of ways you can speed up the process so one of those is to um, and again the the video below has a lot more detail but let's just take like a G chord and a D chord and you're going to want to uh, just choose any two chords and you're going to strum down one time then you're going to pick each string individually and then switch to the D chord or whatever your second chord of choice is strum down pick each string individually and my advice for a little trick here is to play that G chord Take your hand off of your guitar and rest it on your knee or whatever. Then go back up to that D shape. Let go of your hand. You know, let go of the guitar, I should say, not your hand. And rest your hand and back to the G. It's going to get your brain <laughs> in the uh, right frame of mind, so to speak, to start getting some muscle memory built into your fingers. There's a lot of little tips and tricks you can do for changing those chords quickly and smoothly. That's just kind of one, one thing you can add. Simple. And then the final number seven tip is that learning how to play the guitar as an older beginner is a lot easier if you have a, uh, an idea of where you're going, a roadmap, um, blueprint, path, whatever you want to call it. If you have kind of a beginning and in. there is a lot of information on the internet. There's more videos than you could ever watch here on YouTube. And sometimes it's confusing as to, you know, where do I start? What do I do? Most importantly, how do I stay uh, in a, a frame of paying attention rather than getting distracted? Um, knowing where to start and where to end and what path to follow is a huge, huge deal. Um, and kind of part two of that, it's also easier to learn to play 
if you're heading down that path with some friends and folks that are also, you know, learning those chords and those songs and talking about it, learning together. Uh, those are two things that happen a lot in our Relax Learn Guitar membership. And I will leave a link for much more information on that below with uh, everything that's included in that uh, full access membership. If you're interested to check that out, then feel free to do that. Otherwise, focus on that rhythm and timing. You know, play a little bit each day, work on those chord changes and those easy chords. And you'll be well on your way to playing more guitar as an older beginner, or like I said, someone who's maybe not played in a while and is picking things back up. So thanks so much for watching the video. If you have any comments and suggestions related to this, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, remember you're never too old to learn, and I'll see you guys for the next lesson.